Hello friends, welcome to Keyboard Heater. This is Keyboard Heater AngularJS episode 1. Episode 1 is about welcome to AngularJS. Today's agenda. What is AngularJS? Why AngularJS? What's new in AngularJS? Hands-on experience with Hello World application and the course summary. Your support is all I need so please hit the like button below. Please subscribe my channel for more upcoming latest episodes on AngularJS. So first thing that we are going to discuss is what is AngularJS framework all about. AngularJS is a JavaScript framework that help us build web application. AngularJS framework is created by company like Google, which is probably one of the biggest causes of its success. You can download Angular project from http colon double slash angularjs.org. AngularJS framework is an open source application, which means it can be freely used, changed and shared by anyone. We can use AngularJS framework to develop single page as well as line of business application. Next, why and what's new in AngularJS? So the first thing is dependency injection. Now this is something that AngularJS really did well. If you are new about it, do not worry, we will discuss it on later videos. Second is two way data binding. So this is something speciality of AngularJS. It means if you change something in model, it will get reflected into view. And if you change something in view, it will get reflected in model. So that is two-way data binding. Next is testing. So testing is something AngularJS is taking care from the very beginning. And they have built it such a way so that there will be no excuse to say you cannot test your model or your code. So there are many frameworks such as Karma, Jasmine that you can use to unit test your application. Next. MVC pattern which is model view and controller. So this is something MVC pattern has been followed in AngularJS framework as well. So you need to segregate your components into model view and controller and mapping them and managing this MVC pattern in AngularJS will be automatically handled by AngularJS framework itself. And there are more such as services, directive, filter etc. So now moving on to the sample application that is hello world application that we will develop using AngularJS framework. So let's begin. Now it's time to create an application folder. So like here I have created one. So once you are done with it. So now before we proceed we need to have node.js installed in our machine. And while doing so you can install npm so that you can download node packages. Okay. npm is nothing but node package manager. Now I'll give this link in the description from there you can download this and install in your machine. Now once you are done with it so now it's time to kickstart our AngularJS development with Yeoman, Grant and Bauer. So basically we will create a scaffolding for our AngularJS application using Yeoman, Grant and Bauer. So now uh, these are you can see these are the node uh, packages. So you know you need to follow this. You need to execute this npm command in order to install grant CLI in order to install Bower, in, in order to install this generator angular module and then finally you need to execute this command u angular to create a structure or, or a default AngularJS application from there you can start your development process so let's see how we can do that so first thing is first we will copy this command npm in install command to install grant CLI we'll go back to our application root folder and we'll open CMD from here and we'll paste it and this is how one by one like these are the four command that we will in execute one by one in the command line window so it will take some time so I'll pause the video and uh, once it is done I'll come back so I have executed this four line of commands and after doing so here I, I am with the application structure that I have created using Yeoman, Grant and Bauer. Now you can see inside this app folder I have all this you know default things ready with me. Now I will use Visual Studio code here 
for this development process so i will this is uh, again so i'll give this link in the description from where you can download visual studio code and you can use this ide for your development process so now i'll click on this open folder and i'll open that app so i'll go to desktop keyboard heater demo app this and the and i'll open this folder so now you can see here i am ready with the application structure okay now here inside the app folder i have all these required things and uh, outside of this app folder i have grant file.js as i said earlier that grant is nothing but a task runner so while executing or running an application you know we might have multiple tasks to do like build an application delete some uh, old files you know build an application and copy and paste the new files blah 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 so there are n numbers of tasks that we can have in the build cycle so grant here doing the job uh, as a task runner then we have bower.json so whatever packages bower packages we have mentioned here so if you do bower.install so all these packages will get installed and in the package.json this is npm packages so now to in order to install these packages we need to do npm install from our application root folder okay so now we'll go back to application root folder again we'll open cmd and we'll execute npm install and bower install one by one so that all our npm packages will get installed and all our bower packages will get installed so this will take some time so once this is done i'll come back again so i have installed i have executed this npm install and bower install and you can see all these dependencies are being installed and downloaded and installed so if we go back to our application root folder now you can see there are new two folders are there like node modules and bower components so inside node modules we have all the node pack packages installed and inside bower components we have all the bower packages installed okay so again if we go back to the vs code now you can see in our grant file.js the port is mentioned there over there is 9000 so our application will run on port 9000 so later on in next videos we will talk about uh, this grant file.js in details okay so so far my application looks good in our application fol folder i have all the uh, required dependencies installed using npm and bower and in our grant file.js the port is also mentioned as 9000 so now it's time to run our application and see how it looks like so as our application uh, structure is ready so let's go back to our application root folder again open cmd from here now as we have seen like inside our application folder inside uh, we have one file called grant file.js so this file uh, is in charge of running our application now all our application related settings are there inside this grant file.js like port number and uh, other configuration as well that we will see in details later okay so now how to execute this application so for that we need to hit grant serve and now to uh, execute this grant command we need to have grant cli install that we have already installed at the very beginning uh, using npm command like npm install grant cli that we have done at the very beginning so as we have done so so now we can use this grant command so and inside this grant file.js we have one task called serve okay so this task called serve is basically running this application so that is why we are executing command here like grant serve so once we hit the enter button so that task will start executing now whatever the codes are written inside that function that grant serve those code will get executed and you can see this is our application landing page or index page so this is how it looks like now this is what yeoman provide a temp a template angular a template for angular js application from where you can uh, start your development for your learning purpose so now again if we go back to uh, visual studio code now if we open the index.html from here if you go to app and there we have index.html so what we will do here we will keep this as backup so we will rename it dot back we'll copy it and paste it and again we'll rename it as the original it was like index.html now from here we will remove all the content that it has except this script portion because this references are required so we missed the body tag that 
we will put again and so I think for now this is enough. So, we will remove all this as well. So, we need this angular j source only. Okay. So, we can cut this script reference from the body tag and we can paste it in the head or sorry we can keep it in body only because all your CSS reference should be on top of the page before your content gets loaded. So, that is there in the head section and in the body section after all your contents. So, at the very bottom uh, you should have your script references. So, whatever content we write here at the very end we should have a script references. So, that is a that is a convention that you should follow. Okay. So, now we will type uh, welcome say inside p tag we will write welcome. We will save this, we will go back to a browser, we will reload this tag. So, now you can see welcome and there is nothing. So, this is a scratch place from where we can uh, start our development process and we can keep on learning thing. Okay. So, right now in our index.html page we have nothing but a welcome text. Okay, so, we will go back to the Visual Studio code. Now, we will add ng app. Now, the first question will come in your mind that what is this ng app? Now, this ng app you can say this is the heart of AngularJS framework. Now, this is basically in Angular words this is a directive ng app is a directive. Okay. So, this is where Angular will bootstrap the framework. So, in our index.html we have referred AngularJS framework and there we have one p tag also and in body we added ng app. So, this ng app is nothing but Angular directive. So, by adding so we are saying to Angular to handle this entire body tag. So, basically whenever wherever you are adding this ng app you are asking angular to take in charge of that particular element. So, if we cut out this ngf from the body tag and if we put it inside the p tag paragraph tag. So, by doing so we will say I uh, will ask angular to take in charge of this particular p tag. So, at this stage ng, ng app directive is there in the body tag. So, whatever piece of code will write inside the body element angular will take care of it. So, this is how ng app directive helps angular to bootstrap the framework. So, now what if we write this angular uh, curly braces in the code. So, in angular word these are the binding expressions. So, whatever piece of code will write inside these curly braces. So, angular will uh, parse this expression and we render the output. So, here we wrote 4 plus 4. So, the output is genuinely is 8. So, if we go back to our browser we can see the output is 8. Now, surprisingly did you notice like how this output got refreshed automatically? So, this is uh, what uh, grant file is doing because grant file is on the background it is keep on monitoring the changes that you are making. So, you do not need to reload the browser all the time. You make some changes in VS code come back to browser you can see your changes automatically got refreshed in the browser. So, this is how grant will help you to faster your development process. So, if you go back to VS code again. So, now we will see what else we can do using this curly, uh, binding expression. So, what if we declare a uh, javascript object here as name equal to a and age equal to 3. Now, we would like to we would uh, try to fetch the name property from this object. So, the output should be a because we kept the value of name as a. So, if we go back to the browser we can see the output is a. So, this is how we can do lot more stuff like we can declare an array from here like 1 comma 2 and we can fetch the 0th index from here as well. If we go back to browser we can see the output is 1. So, this is how angular binding is working. So, in this video we saw like how we can create scaffolding of an angular application using yeoman, grunt and bower. Then we saw how this ng app is helping angular to bootstrap the framework. Then we saw the um, angular binding expression. So, in the next video we will uh, talk about angular module controller and how angular is mapping this module and controller. So, that is it for now. Please uh, if you like the video please leave a like below and please uh, leave your feedback in the comment section below. So, that I can rectify my mistake and I can make this uh, video more helpful for you. So, uh, please subscribe my channel for more upcoming uh, latest uh, episodes on angular js. So, thanks for watching the video. Stay tuned.